why it sure feels good to get back from the Chehalis River. We got a lot of nets out of the water. Hello, everyone. Hey, what is going on with the table? Cosmos, what have you done? You know, the last few YouTubes back, I warned everybody about there was a party brewing. Look at this. <laughs> I don't believe it. Cosmos, always under his umbrella. Look how tired you are. What have you and Blackjack been doing while I've been gone? He wants to share with you in this upcoming film short titled Cosmos's Training Table 61. He wants to teach you how to fix your own pool table so you become a better player. And that's tightening up the corner pockets. Cosmos is pretty wise on this deal. He had to, first of all, figure out the angle that he wanted to work with when he was cutting the board. And the way he did that is he took a board template and he laid it under the table and he traced it out with a pencil so that it was really easy to spot. Then he turned on the table saw and very carefully, now I kind of helped him here a little bit, run it through so that you get a nice straight cut. And as this saw spins, you want to keep your fingers away from it It'll show no mercy, and there's nothing worse than trying to play pool if you don't have any fingers. So if you're working a table saw like this, you want to make sure that you wear your safety goggles and you keep your fingers away from that cutting blade, all right? So we're just about ready to finish it up here. And a few more cuts, and I think that's just about perfect. Now, we want to sand it up so there's no sharp edges around the corners. And a way to do that is you can take a block and place your work on top of it, which helps support it. Then you can run your sandpaper back and forth really quickly, and you can get a nice edge, and then you can turn it. And see how the block tends to support it and how nice that is? That's what you want. And so now it's simple. Cosmos runs back up to the table. We get some really good quality glue. Now we have discovered, like everybody else out there, the Gorilla Glue really is the best stuff to use. Although it likes to expand in a white foam, but if you watch it while it's setting up, you can dig that out with a piece of wire or a toothpick and it won't create a problem when it hardens up for the next piece that has to fit in there. And that's our formula that Cosmos showed me with polyurethane resin mixed with sand and you triple, quadruple the hardener and stir, add hardener, stir and hard, add hardener. Try, that, try saying that five times fast. So after that mixture's together, you use electrical tape because it won't stick to the plastic. And then that electrical tape works as a mold for you to pour that cement into and form the corner of the pocket to the size that you want. Aha. So Cosmos now, I don't know what to say about this. <clears throat> the table's not finished. He's outside. I don't know, maybe I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to maybe call up the one pocket monster and see what's going on with him and if we can get this table back in shape. But I like his idea of making the pockets tighter. Until next time, this is the doc for Cosmo. <laughs> the guy's passed out under the umbrella. Bye-bye. Cosmos, man, you are so... I hope this works, man. I hope this works.